So listen, it's Friday. I'm out in these streets running my errands, minding my own business, and I get a little notification on uh, my little phone here that uh, Cortland Henry, AKA Bortland, is appearing in court. So what do I have to do? I have to pull over to a parking lot. Look, I am in a random parking lot in Northern New Jersey because I was like, oh, what is he in court for? I need to know everything. Apparently, it was a simple status conference, but he had gone be before the judge because he wants to work. And I was like, oh, he got a job down at the Home Depot. He's going to be over at the Sonic serving those cherry ices. Mm -mm. He wants to do music. He wants to do music all up and down the Midwest and the Eastern Seaboard. And the judge was like, oh, that's really interesting. No. No. So apparently he is free to go to church. Okay. Something, he don't seem like a church dude to me, but now since all of this has jumped off, maybe he's a church dude now. Okay. So, um, he can go to church and he go to his mama's house and stay home. But you know what? His mama lost custody of him when he was a child. So are they even speaking? Last I knew he was living with his auntie, but you ain't heard that from me. Additionally, um, Juvie's dad is out here still running his mouth. Juvie's dad's name is Spoon. I think his screen name is like Spoonful of Game or something like that. But he goes by Spoon 510 or 510 Spoon. Apparently 510 is his area code. Does that mean I'm 917 or would it make me 202 or 201? Unclear. Anyway, I just go by my name, but I, I don't need to go by my area code. Don't understand why people do, but that's none of my business. So listen, 510 Spoon is out here in the streets talking about the time that he got with Melly's mama. How's he telling tales out of school like that? Apparently, he is one that doesn't mind kissing and telling. Oh, and trust and believe, now that I've learned to do a screen record, well, you know I got the video of it. I'ma play you the video, but it's a little bit low, the volume, so let me break it down for you. He says he had just got out of prison. He was on work release. He spent a lot of time in prison, y'all. But anyway, he spent a lot of time in prison. He was out on work release and all these people are friends from way back. So when Jamie King, Melly's mom called up, um, was like, Hey, how you doing? He said, Oh, I knew she was trying to holler at me cause I'm a good looking dude. So he said to her, can you give me a ride up to the 510? I guess that's Gifford, Florida unclear. So she was like, yeah, 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 yeah. So she called, she rolls up downstairs. She calls up on the house phone. Now Spoon was living with his baby's mom at the time. So Jamie calls and was like, hey, I'm downstairs. And then uh, he said, come on up and let me show you your appreciation. And then you'll see what happens next. She called the house. And I'm like, man, let me get a ride to 510. What about she ended up coming to the house. She like she called the house phone. Back then they had a house phone. She was like, I'm downstairs. I was like, come upstairs and let me show you my appreciation. I swear to God. I, I ain't saying that was some motherfucking Casanova shit, like the best line in the world, but I, that's what I said. <laughs> so she ended up coming upstairs. And just like that, man, I hit her right, in, right on the living room floor. It's real, for real. And then I called the ride to five ten. How is he out here telling all this lady's business? Now everybody knows that you can have her just for like a ride uptown, a ride across town. You don't even have to give her gas money. Just give her a little mm -mm 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 and you good. The shade, all this shade on a Friday afternoon. Okay, y'all have a good day. Bye.